Hand reading in Mahjong means to identify the most likely hands your opponent is developing. During the pick and discard phase of the game, this is done by observing exposures and discards. The intel gathered can be used to help you make decisions on the development of your own hand. It can also help you play more defensively as the game progresses. In this video, we're going to practice hand reading. We just joined a game as a spectator at Mahjong time. In this session, we're going to be practicing reading Nine hands bamboos. at an American Mahjong Green table. Dragon. Let's go full screen so you can see these tiles a little bit better. Nine dots. So we are starting out with a green dragon. Nines, two nines. Five bamboos. East wind. That east came from the middle of the hand. That could be of interest later. So we have five bam, nine bam, nine dot, three two dot. green dragons. Three, six, nine is gonna be a challenge if anybody's playing a three, six, nine hand. Seven characters. So we have a seven and a nine across from us. They're four likely dot. not playing big odds. There's a hesitation on the four. Three dots. Three dot from the middle of the hand there. One bamboo. Eight characters. Green dragon. White dragon. There's a hesitation. I was just wondering if somebody might North be playing wind. a year hand. They're going to be impacted because of the three West dots wind. and that white dragon there's a hesitation on the west somebody could be playing a news hand west wind it could have been that player giving up on the news hand green dragon all the green dragons are down no Kong. like number number two Kong. Okay, first exposure, Kong of Fives. Six bamboos. My guess is they're not playing little odds. Two bamboos. I think if they were playing little odds, they would have kept the one and the three. Six characters. No hesitation on the six. They could be playing Kong big five. odds on the right. I suppose they could also one be bamboo. playing like numbers with fives. Red Dragon. They could be doing something consecutive with Eight little numbers. Two, three, four, five. Eight dots. No two, three, four and cracks are out right now. Eight bamboos. Five dots. Not much of a hesitation on the five dot and there's a five bam out. So I don't think they're playing like numbers. I think two they're characters. playing either big odds or four consecutive bamboos. run. I suppose they could be playing little odds and cracks. Maybe consecutive run and cracks. Eight characters. South wind. Okay, now in front of us. Flower. They have four, eight, six. They're probably not playing four evens. Bamboos. To the left of us, east. One bamboo. Four, five, two, four, two, two, eight. Probably not playing evens or consecutive run to the two left. Bamboos. So the player on the left could be playing odds or three, six, nine. Five the bamboos. Player across from us. East wind. Two, eight. Five dots. Nine characters. This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure what the player Seven across dots. from us is doing. I suppose somebody could be trying for Seven an addition dots. hand. Those are hard to peg. One dot. Okay, now there's a hesitation on the one dot. Four bamboos. Seven dots. Six 
characters. No hesitation on the six. Joker. A joker's going out. Six Interesting. Characters. Maybe they're playing a pair hand or they need a pair. Four characters. There's hesitation on the Come. four. All right, we have a con. All right, so the player on the right is not doing consecutive run with a four. They may be doing little odds, one, three, five. Seven characters. They, there's a red Seven dragon win. out. If they're playing the dragon hand, it's going to get tight if they don't have their pair. Joker. Another joker out. Flower. And now a flower, no hesitation there. North wind. Mahjong. Okay, we have a year hand. This is the year hand. I was thinking somebody here was playing a year hand and they needed a north single. So they were hoping for a pure hand. And they got one away from a pure hand. Over here, we have odds. We have odds. One, nine, three, five, seven in the middle. Over here, we have little odds with dragons. One, three, five. And then over here, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, ready to win on a six dot pure. No, it's not pure. That four crack is a joker. So they're playing two, four, six, eight, fourth hand down. That looked look pretty good. These hands all developed pretty quickly. And this right here was our winner. News concealed. At Mahjong time, you can be a spectator at any game. If you catch one right after the Charleston, you can practice reading hands based on discards and exposures. Try to figure out what people are playing. It's a great skill to build and for social gameplay, but primarily, if you ever want to play competitively, this is a, an essential skill to build. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks. Beekeepers.